What's up, YouTubers? This is Eric from Easy Computer Solutions. So on this video, we're going to talk about the state of smartphones. You know, long time ago, when I first started getting into smartphones, it was this one tiny device that you could make phone calls with. But fast forward that to 2017, we got a massive amount of devices right now that do a lot of things, uh, basically a PC in your pocket. So on this video, I'm doing a collaboration with my man, Click. So we're going to go over it and discuss the state of smartphones in his perspective on this YouTube channel. So get your popcorn ready and follow me on this journey. Let's go. Technology. Its reach is massive and it runs our world today. Everywhere you look, you'll see some form of technology being used, being created, that advances us one step forward at a time. What's going on YouTube? To see if you're from Click, and today I'm being featured on this awesome tech YouTube channel, Easy Computer Solutions. Shout out to the fellows on here for featuring me on the channel and giving me the video idea. Feel free to drop a sub on both channels to help us keep producing awesome content for you guys. The shift of importance to mobile tech has substantially increased over the last 10 years or so. When Apple introduced that first iPhone, it was a game changer. Subsequent smartphones from a plethora of companies followed the philosophy of all touchscreen phones with top of the line specs. Well, except for Blackberry, they seem to be still living in 2003. Fast forward though to 2017 and we have iPhone 10s, Note 8s, Galaxy S9s on the horizon, HTC U11s and all that stuff. Heck, even Razer and Red are taking a crack at making smartphones. Which brings us to the point of this video, the current state of affairs of tech and most importantly with smartphones. As a whole, honestly, I think the smartphone market is a bit of a mess right now. As a resident of good old Canada, if I wanted to buy any of these devices, it's going to be running me upwards of $1,000 and sometimes even close to $2,000 just for a smartphone. Gone are the days where you could buy a new phone for about $800, $900, bucks, but it is what it is. Sparing you my rant on smartphone prices, there are a few key devices I want to mention from 2017. First, the current Samsung flagship lineup, the S8+, Plus, the S8, the Note 8. I feel like these phones set the trend for smartphones for 2017 and possibly for 2018 as well. The big beautiful bezel of screens, the iris and face scanning, Bixby, wait, not that. If you want a more in-depth look at these phones, check out the review on the S8 Plus on our channel and the Note 8 video will be coming very soon. Next up, the iPhone 10. Now this phone sets the standard for our expectations from Apple, well minus the price. Again, with a big, beautiful bezel-less display, Face ID, and the overall build, I am extremely excited to see what Apple does with their next generation iPhone. And last one I want to mention is something you guys may not expect, but it's the LG V30 and the V30 Plus. Now, this phone is one of the new standard setting devices for LG. It really is a shame that LG doesn't have a larger market share with their newest smartphones, but it is what it is. Hopefully that changes in the coming years. There are a ton of other big name smartphones that I could have mentioned, but if I went through the whole list of them, it would probably take me a year just to get through it. So we will have to skip out on them. Now onto the fun part. This is going to be the segment where I talk about stuff that I want to see in phones for 2018. Now, obviously we know the Galaxy S9, the Note 9, the iPhone next generation, all these big name phones will be coming out. So it's no surprise on that front however there are a couple of things within these phones that i do want to see going forward in 2018. now that we've seen the bezel-less display we've seen the new biometric features to unlock your device the security features it's time to see improvements in battery and battery life now while i am fully aware that it takes a lot of effort and a lot of research and design to put all these little bits and bobs together in a smartphone and make it still run efficiently uh, as efficient as they do run right now giving you that one day battery I would still like to see smartphones in 2018 bring two-day battery, three-day battery uh, without a struggle. So a few smaller Chinese companies have started cramming in these massive like 10,000 milliamp hour batteries into their phones. Now, while theoretically, yes, that works and it does increase your longevity, it's not the most practical way and I really don't agree with it. Mostly because batteries add a lot of weight to your smartphones and I really don't want to be carrying around a 10,000 milliamp hour power bank basically in my pocket all day long. On top of that, with such a massive battery, whether or not you have quick charge, it's still going to take forever to charge up. So to sum up for batteries in 2018, I want to see batteries that aren't massive, like regular size 2000, 3000 milliamp hour batteries by giving us at least two to three days of usage. It may be a lot to ask for, but smartphone companies don't pay me to design this stuff, so it is what it is. Another thing I want to see going forward with smartphones is the return of dual front facing speakers or dual stereo speakers. Now the general trend with things is if Apple has adopted it, a wireless charging, quick charging, stereo speakers, 
that's the industry standard. So every single phone should include that. And I'm looking at you, Samsung and LG. So you guys need to include dual front facing speakers, stereo speakers. Again, we use our smartphones for multimedia, I'd say nine times out of 10. We don't actually make phone calls on our phones anymore. So again, having those crystal clear, loud, bassy speakers would be fantastic for 2018. Lastly, as usual, I'd like to see the price of smartphones come down. Literally everything, the cost of living, the cost of everything is going up and our wages are staying stagnant. It's becoming way harder to afford to buy these thousand dollar plus smartphones. So again, in 2018, I would love to see price reductions in phones, picking up iPhones for like less than a grand, Samsung phones for less than a grand, that would be fantastic. So Apple, Samsung, Google, and all the other smartphone companies, please bring the price of your phones down so we can actually afford them. It's really becoming out of hand and while your profits are massive, just remember the bigger you guys are, the harder you're gonna fall. So guys, that's really my take on the state of tech, well, mostly smartphones because those are the most relevant pieces of mobile technology that we have right now. So thank you for the opportunity, Eric, for featuring me on your channel, Easy Computer Solutions. And feel free to drop a sub on click to help us keep bringing you guys awesome content. And if you haven't already subbed to Eric's channel, feel free to do so. Every subscriber makes a difference. Feel free to drop a comment with your opinion down below in the comment section and let's get a discussion going on. Thank you guys so much for watching. This has been Nassif from Quick. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Again, feel free to drop a sub on both channels as it helps both of us out a lot. And I'm out. Peace.